So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, you obviously could go ahead and use the factor tree. Um, I'm not going to use the factor tree just because it's going to take too long. And so the method, but obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if you applied the factor tree, Matt, um, then if you go ahead and apply the factor tree, you could obviously still get the same results that I'm going to get. But when you're doing the factoring tree, I think what's the best thing to do is the factoring tree is very helpful. And when you're doing the factoring tree and you notice you have a square number as a factor, I would stop right there and use that square number. Because for instance, if I'm doing the factoring tree, one thing I notice is 25 is a factor and 25 is a square number. So instead of factoring it down to all the factors, I'm just going to leave 25 as right there times 3. And 18, I can rewrite when I do the factors, I would do 9 times 2. Well, instead of factoring down 9 as the 3 times 3, I, you know, I would group the 3 and 3. I can know I can just take the square root of the 9. And 32, if I was going to break down that down, I could break that down into 16 times 2. So the factoring tree is, yes, very helpful. But I think it's also nice to kind of think of the factoring tree as trying to use it to find square numbers. Because I can take the square root of 25, 9, and 16, correct? So when I go ahead and take the square root of 25, I obtain 5 times square root of 3. When I take, obtain the square root of 9, I obtain square root of 9 is 3. And square root of 16 is 4. Now, it's important when those numbers come out of the square root that they're still being multiplied by a number that was in front. So now I have 5 square root of 3 minus 12 square root of 2 plus 8 square root of 2. I did negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. 2 times 4 is 8. Well, what we did at the beginning of the class, or if you remember in those last set of problems, basically what we did was we took, we, we could only add and subtract values that have the same radicand with, this, with the same, the root and the radicand. So therefore, we had 5 squared of 3. And then these two, negative 12 plus 8 would have given you a negative 4. So I have 5 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 2. And that is your final answer.